Clint Eastwood wants to hit all the right notes with Jersey Boys. First time we made that sound, our sound, that was the best. The 84-year-old Hollywood legend directs the film adaptation of the Smash musical about the rise and eventual breakup of 60s rock and roll act The Four Seasons. Eastwood himself doesn't actually act in the film, although he does make a surprise appearance that viewers should look out for. I loved your cameo, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I hope that doesn't uh, disintegrate it too much. What attracted you to this story? Uh, you tend not to think of it as a musical. No, I, I thought of it as a story of uh, four guys, uh, some of them leading towards a life of uh, delinquents, but they, through music, they become quite successful. So it's a it's a rich story, but it's, it's a story that has appealed in, in, on the, in the theater for quite some years. How loyal is the film to the Broadway musical? A play is you're isolated to that one spot. We have the advantage of being able to go to different places and make the backgrounds more realistic. Eastwood avoided using Hollywood A-listers when casting The Four Seasons. Instead, he mostly went with theater actors who have played their roles on stage before, like John Lloyd Young, who won a Tony Award in 2006 as the group's lead singer, Frankie Valli. Only one of the actors has not previously appeared in the stage musical, Boardwalk Empire cast member Vincent Piazza, who plays antagonistic group member Tommy DeVito. He came in, a terrific actor, and jumped right in uh, with them, and so they worked as a unit very, very good. Yeah, it was uh, one of those experiences that you, you, you hope and pray for as an actor. So many actors across the world would want to play these roles for Clint Eastwood, and he chose us, so... Um, we were really, really, really happy to be there every single day. This movie has everything. I mean, mobsters, romance, music. Would you say there's just about something for everyone? Yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, I, I think uh, it's had a broad uh, audience as a, as a play, and I hope it has a broad audience as a movie. Jersey Boys opens in cinemas on Friday. Ken Lombardi, CBS News.